Blue pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please take a seat. <laughs> I just want to formally welcome you to Sports Awards Dinner 2024. I just have a few words to say and then I'm going to go over the... Okay. Coach Berman is ready. He's ready for tonight. Uh, I'm going to say a few words. I'm going to go over how the night is going to run and then we're going to get started. There will be a brief intermission in between the speeches in case you want to talk for a few minutes and then we're going to start again. So, pardon me, I did not memorize what I want to say. Good evening. We're excited to gather tonight to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our talented athletes. It is great pleasure that I am the one to welcome you here tonight, but before we dive in, I just want to give a few thank yous. First and foremost, if Ms. Molino could come out for a second, I just want to thank Ms. Molino. So Ms. Molino is the organization and communication behind this event, and every year she takes on more and more, and I am just very grateful. Uh, and Miss Redding, who's standing next to her, I want to thank her as well. Redding is our middle school athletic director, and then I'm not sure if you know, but in the spring she stepped up to be co-athletic director for the high school. Um, so thank you very much. She has a can-do, what-can-I-do attitude, and I just couldn't replace her. Thank you so much. She knows how to get things done. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to give a special acknowledgement to the rest of the administration, but most importantly, Principal Smythe. Thank you, welcome. So when Principal Smythe took over, the support for the athletic department just increased, increased, increased. I am incredibly grateful for her. Um, she is really a part of this continuous growth that we have going in the Scholars Academy Athletic Department, so thank you. Uh, to our coaches, you go above and beyond. Your dedication is unmatched. You strive to enhance our scholars' skills in athletics, but also, and probably more importantly, you prepare them for the challenges that lie ahead in their post-secondary lives. So that does not go unnoticed, and I know how much time and thought goes into coaching. I have done it for 20 years. Thank you so much. Give a round of applause for your coaches. All right, only two more groups. Now we have the parents. We appreciate all the ways you support, whether it be fundraising, driving the team to practices or games, cheering on the team in person or via live stream. If you can see our live streamers in the back, thank you. And I just want to shout out Patrick, who started the live streaming at Scholars Academy. He's a fellow senior. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, parents, your contributions are invaluable. And I just want to mention as well, the conversations you have at home, the opportunities you provided for our scholars before they came to high school, during high school, to have additional practices, the exposure to games, and also the academic help that you give, that you make sure they're on top of their academics. One of the best parts of being the athletic director, and again, we went through two audits this year, and academics were not a huge stress for us. We are so, thank you. Thank you to the parents and students for making sure that's not a stress. All right, and now finally, why we're all here is our scholar athletes. Woo! Woo! We're here because of you. We're here because of your dedication to the sport and to our school. This night is all about you. I know that I can be a little tough and I hold you to very high standards. It's not easy for anyone, especially teenagers, to be held to those standards. Uh, but I am truly proud of every one of you. I don't say it enough. I want to make sure I say it today. I am truly proud of everyone in this room. Um, 
You're disciplined, resilient, cooperative, amiable, hardworking. You're constantly growing and, stri and striving to embrace the charge mentality of Scholars Academy. That's all we can ask for our students. Thank you for your commitment to being a huge part of our community and that I know that when I talk to other students in the school, I can always look to my athletes to say, this is what you want to do. This is who you want to be. So thank you for that. Yeah. All right, and now before we move on, I cannot end this without giving a special shout out to our varsity softball team for becoming the <laughs> There's been so much to be proud of these past few years. We also have many seniors graduating with two PSEL boys championships, so I want to acknowledge those seniors. Great job. So now we're going to honor our athletes. So I just want to just say one thing. We're going in order of season. So we're deviating a little bit away from the program. So it's in season order. Coaches are going to give a very brief season recap. The team will come up. They're going to give most valuable player, most improved player, and coaches award. There will be a quick, thank you. Yeah, is that the soccer team over there? Yeah, thank you. So, after the awards are given out, there's going to be a very quick team picture with the coaches, and then you're going to sit down. The captains of the team will give out their certificates, so we're not going to hand out each and every certificate up here. Okay. Coach Ray. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Tuberty just did a fantastic speech. Please clap it up for her. She's phenomenal. Yeah. These were the people of everything they have done throughout the year and they were phenomenal we thank them all but really I think the major applause needs to go to Miss Tuberty because we would not have an athletics program without her so please stop it up for her thank you so much now before further ado let me invite up coach Webb and her tennis team tennis team. Uh, this year the tennis team had another impressive season. They tied for first place in their division and performed competitively in the playoffs. While I'm limited to only three awards tonight, everyone on the team played an integral role and is deserving of recognition. Most notably my seniors. You've been the heart of this team and you'll be missed so very, very much. Starting off with most improved, this award for most improved goes to a student who has grown significantly over the course of her tennis career and most notably from last year to this season. Her dedication toward the sport was shown through her unwavering commitment to playing tennis over the summer, building skills and preparing for the current season where she excelled in her position as second doubles. Alison Mulholland and her doubles partners season due to her growth in knowledge of the sport as well as a whole and her, her strategic serving. While her achievements this season were many, her most notable contribution is her consistently cool, calm, and collective demeanor and her kind and uplifting personality. Congratulations on your well-deserved award, Allison. Coaches Award. The Coaches Award goes to one of our seniors who exemplifies what it means to be a team player and role model. Kira. <laughs> is dependable, positive, kind, and personable. She puts forth her best efforts on a daily basis and is very committed to self-improvement. She accepts feedback and uses it as an opportunity to grow. Her, abil her ability to internalize areas for growth is a characteristic that has made her improve significantly over the years. Kira is selfless, always willing to put the best interest of her team over her own. 
She has promoted the values of sportsmanship and commitment on a daily basis for the past four years as a true leader on the team. Her hardworking attitude and dedication to personal improvement is exemplary, and she is most deserving of this coach's award. Last but not least, the MVP. The first word that comes to mind when I think of this student is personality. She's outgoing, welcome, welcoming, charismatic, funny, and most certainly unique. This year, our team was made up of mostly returning players with only a few new athletes joining. On an incredibly close-knit team, this could make it intimidating to join and feel included and welcome, but not when you have Faith Ajumadi on your team. Faith is friendly, uplifting, and certainly one of a kind. Her hardworking attitude and dedication to personal improvement is palpable. She consistently arrives at practices and games with a willingness to learn, to help others, and to be upbeat. She also plays during the off-season, further improving her abilities. Her character and contribution to the team is hard to match. She's always going out of her way to lift up others, make them laugh, and bring a little bit extra energy and enthusiasm for tennis and for life itself. For these reasons, coupled with her excellent talents and abilities, the Most Valuable Player Award goes to Dave Agnew. Glassog and I'm the coach of the varsity, uh, the girls varsity soccer team. So I'm just going to give a quick, I'm just going to give a quick overview uh, of our season, and then get into our most improved player MVP and the coaches award. So I would like to start off by thanking the parents of our varsity soccer players for their support throughout the season, both as fans in the stands as well as logistical enablers, getting the girls to every away game on time and in good spirits. Uh, I would also like to thank our team managers, Candia, Kimberly, and Jennifer. Uh, they were a real help this season in terms of organization and wonderful stat keepers during fast-paced games. Uh, this varsity season was a successful one with the girls going undefeated in their division with a record of 8-0 and making it to the quarterfinals of the PSAL 1A division. The girls were a fun bunch to coach, uh, who were always laughing and joking, but also a disciplined group that was laser focused when it was time to train or to play. Uh, the season also marked the emergence of a core group of younger players who will be the springboard for more success next season. It was a privilege 
honor and pleasure to coach such a close-knit, talented, and hard-working group of athletes, and tonight we honor them. Uh, for our most improved player, uh, this year's most improved award is being given to someone whose season started off as someone with potential but continued to train hard at her craft and perform even better as the season went on, really influencing the team with her goal-scoring exploits. On the field, this player began the season with cameo performances from the bench and continued to elevate her game by scoring seven times and providing a two assists. This player has a very hard shot and great stamina. Her ability really became apparent in the second half of the season and the improvement in her game shined through. Off the field, this player was a hard worker, tactically adaptable and very coachable, which made my job as a coach easier. Please congratulate the recipient of this year's Varsity Soccer's Most Improved Award, Caitlin Palmisi. Next up is our MVP. This year's MVP award goes to a player who was the Queen's East A Division scoring leader with 17 goals and eight assists to her name. A fantastic output for a fantastic player. This player could dribble, pass, shoot, tackle, and take set pieces. A model attacking midfielder who excelled in every facet of the game, and a goal scorer with ice in her veins who had great finishing instincts. Her contribution to our season was massive. Please congratulate the recipient of this year's Varsity Soccer's MVP award, Layla Phillips. <laughs> this year's Coaches Award goes to a player who personifies leadership, competitive drive, and outstanding on-field ability. This player was a direct, no-nonsense defender who reads the game well and is, a great, and is great in possession, taking the ball into midfield with her dribbling and passing. This player would lead the team as co-captain and provide her teammates with steady and consistent leadership during games and practice, as well as someone who teammates would look up to as a model student athlete. This player exemplifies the qualities of the type of student athlete every coach wants to train. Please congratulate the recipient of this year's Coaches Award for Girls Varsity Soccer, Angelina Lobion. Please clap it up for the girls' sports and soccer team. Into the photo right here right now. <laughs> Next up, I would like to announce our girls' girl uh, boys cross country team. Boys and girls. <laughs> Boys and girls cross country. country boys and girls up here. I want to first express my gratitude to the entire team for their hard work and dedication to our success this season. A special thank you to the parents, families who supported us at Cunningham Park and Van Cortland Park all the way in the Bronx. 
Your unwavering commitment was clear as you traveled every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. to cheer us on. This season, I have witnessed tremendous growth from our team. Um, one of the biggest highlights this year was uh, a lot of people setting their PRs at 5K, 2.5 for sophomores, and the freshmen uh, running 1.5. All right, so we're going to start with the uh, Coach's Award for girls, Jordan Taylor. <laughs> Jordan Taylor is our only returning senior and a third year member of the girls cross country team and is awarded the, Co the Coach's Award. Her leadership, positive energy, and ever-present smile have made our 7 a.m. practices more enjoyable and motivating for the entire team. Jordan's helpfulness and uplifting spirit will be greatly missed next year. Congratulations. <laughs> Our most improved player couldn't make it today, but it is Jolie Wasserman, so you guys give her a round of applause. <laughs> Our girls MVP goes to a sophomore. All right, so the girls would all agree, Amanda Scotto has been one of the most magical players. Her sophomore year has been outstanding, highlighted by achieving the 16th fastest time in the Queensboro Championship. Amanda's humble personality and daily hard work are truly appreciated. She consistently shows up and brings her A game every single day. Congratulations, Amanda. On to the boys. Coaches Award. Tristan. <laughs> Tristan has been honored with the Coaches Award for Boys Cross Country, celebrating his impressive improvement in the varsity 5K race times and his exceptional leadership. His dedication shines through his year round training. And he is training already, and he's in my computer science class, and every day he's like, hey, this is my new time, this is my new time, this is my new time. I'm like, you get it. You, you need to start leading this team next year, right? Um, Trisha's ability to inspire and guide his teammates has been crucial to the team's success, and his continued leadership is poised to elevate the team to new heights next year. Congratulations. <laughs> Most improved player for boys. I have Matthew De La Cruz. This is Matthew's first year on the team, and he began, began the season with a 5K time of 28 minutes and 45 seconds, and he was drained. And now, he was able to reduce that time to 23 minutes and 20 seconds by the end of the season. For you math people, that's five minutes and 25 seconds faster. That's very impressive. His remarkable progress and dedication inspires his fellow runners throughout the season. I am eager to see how much he will improve over the off season. And you have one more year with us, right, Matthew? Congratulations. And our MVP, he couldn't make it, um, Isaiah Jones. So we can give him a round of applause. Thank you, guys. Next up will be Varsity Bowling.
couple things about the bowling team. We did place again in the top 10 in New York City, in the top division. We've done that for five consecutive years, so congratulations to you guys. That would be really important. Um, we have a, a super young team this year with only a few seniors, particularly two. Um, so we have even a brighter future for next year, trying to go for that chip. Um, as far as the team goes, we had an undefeated season into the playoffs, and again, we made it to the semifinals, and next year we're trying to go even further than that. We do have some top bowlers here in New York City, and we had eight qualifying uh, borough individuals, the most we've ever had in the entire time I've ever coached, so congratulations, boys, on that great job. Yeah. All right, now to the awards. We're gonna start off with our most improved. So for the first one for most improved, um, I try to be as objective as possible with this award. I try to take a baseline uh, score from the year before and use the improved average year over year so that I don't try to be too biased with what I see myself on the lanes. But this bowler completely um, took over. Uh, this bowler was someone that went from not even playing in his freshman year to not only starting but skipping the B team to the A team. One of our prime bowlers um, for the year. Uh, this bowler added 49 points to his average year over year. Um, this person also made individuals and with a high game of 215, please congratulate Lucas Jarns. All right, the next award. This next award is a coaching award. Um, I highlight this award the most just because this is someone that not only is a, a member of the team that means a lot to us, but also that member uh, helps out with the entire team. This person uh, goes, uh, this person's a sophomore who doesn't realize the impact that they have as a leader on the team but uh, makes a massive impact day to day, mostly even in practice, not even in game so much, but when it comes to practice, helping each other, actually sitting there on the lanes, working with other people, and, and as a freshman, I usually don't see that. Usually I'll see that in my seniors or older uh, students, but this is someone that started really early helping other people out. Um, this person also has the sixth highest game in all of PSAL, with a 248 in match play. Uh, this student averaged 185 this year and made individuals as well as all city. Please congratulate Thomas Lucello. For our MVP, um, it's always a tough pick for me because again, this is someone that always going to be someone super important to the team, means a lot to us, always helps out, always has all the traits that you would want from an MVP, but our MVP also is someone that really steps up in a big spot when others would fail. Um, he's our anchor of our team, and even though he's not here with us today, he still had a high game, 223 in match play, average 170, throughout the year, always was there to hit a big 10 pin spot when we needed him, and um, really helped set the tone for this team that's super young with mostly freshmen and sophomores for the next four years, and that winner is Dominic Utella. And I just want to thank you guys, uh, and this is your 2024 bowling team. Next up, we have our girls volleyball team, Miss McGrone. Alright, so 
So it is with great pleasure that we gather here today to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our athletes. The girls varsity volleyball team finished their season record undefeated, never needed to go to a third spot. Making their way to playoff was an easy and effortless task. The varsity volleyball team left it all on the court during their quarterfinals game when the season had ended. To say that I'm proud of the team would be an understatement, and I look forward to the future of the athletes, including our seniors. I'm going to fast forward to our most improved. Among the many accolades we bestow upon our players, the Most Improved Player Award holds a special significance. This award is given in recognition of an athlete's perseverance, dedication, and relentless pursuit of excellence. It highlights not only raw talent, but also the willingness to put in the hard work and effort needed to refine and elevate one's game. Maris Chen has been able to display her journey in volleyball every time she's left foot on the court. Like many athletes have been obstacles, Maris has needed to overcome a stabbing pain in her side during an all-day tournament. However, because of Maris's perseverance and dedication, she was able to finish the day pretending like the pain did not exist. Maris has made many strides to improve her skill, including participating in a travel club team league, beach league, and managing the boys varsity team. All of these efforts have led toward personal and collective success. Congratulations to Maris Chang. Her journey continues to inspire. Okay, most valuable. The most valuable player award is to recognize the relentless pursuit of greatness, the embodiment of talent, and the epitome of leadership within the realm of sports. This accolade symbolizes the collaboration between talent and hard work and between skill and sacrifice. Lauren Dorazio is she pushed to be the team's leading scorer for aces and kills per game. Her skill is a direct result of her hard work and sacrifice that she continued to bring all season long. Lauren was a player on and off the court that a coach could count on. At any moment in the game, I could make eye contact with Lauren and she would understand what she needed for that extra push to secure a win. Lauren approached every end line with confidence and ease, knowing that her serve was hard to receive. She saw spots on the court that were open and recognized that every point earned did not have to be a heart-driven hit. Lauren has the court sense that it's difficult to teach, but a force to be reckoned with. For this reason, and many more, it is an honor to recognize Lauren Durazio as this award means a lot to me. It is the Coach's Award. As a coach, I have the pleasure of working with many talented athletes, but there are always those few individuals who truly stand out for their exceptional dedication, leadership, and sportsmanship. A recipient of the Coach's Award has an unwavering commitment to excellence both on and off the court, which not only elevates their own performance, but inspires the teammates to stri strive for success. Sophia Pesso. <laughs> Sophia needs to be recognized for her skill level as a volleyball player and for her dedication to this team. I could always count on her to lead the team in motivational speeches, needed criticism, and ability to score a point when needed most. On the court, I genuinely believe this athlete could do it all. In addition to her athletic achievements, Sophia is a remarkable young woman who is a role model to everyone she encounters. She will go far in life due to the morals and values she continues to honor. Thank you, Sophia, for being the most consistent and reliable player I have ever coached, as well as the most beautiful young woman inside and out. Sophia Pesso. Okay, volleyball, step forward for a photo, please. While it is happening, I will invite up our swimming team, co-ed swimming team. 
Don't be shy back there. Come on. Step up front. Thank you. Sea Wolf Swimming. Sea Wolf Swimming had a great year. We completed, competed well against top teams in the city. Every member had made key contributions to our success. We had personal best swim by every athlete at some point in the season. I'd like to recognize our seniors that will continue the success of being strong competitors and even better people. Andrea Smith. Michael Ben, Charles Higgendorf, Jenna Rodriguez, Jesus Velasquez, Charlotte Thesis, and Steve, sorry, and Jenny McConnell. All right, finally. Finally, I must tell you how we sourced all your students here at the Scholars Academy. So in February, the city championships were held in the Bronx. A few of our athletes leave the meet to find their car is missing. They figured it out. They were towed. With their brilliance, they hopped on some city bikes and made it to the impound lot. Two and a half hours later, retrieved their car and went on their way. I'm sure I left some parts out, but that's the story I heard. Now on to some rewards. This individual has a love for the sport and a true passion to continue to improve. His success comes from hard work and dedication. The individual certainly beats to his own drum, and it's so great to see him carry himself with such confidence. He finished top 10 for the 100-yard freestyle and fourth in the 50 at the city championships. Yes, fourth in the entire city. He will be back next year to try to keep Pete for the top. Our 2024 swimming MVP goes to Alex Boyarski. Right. Next, this person possesses qualities that are essential to swimming, always at practice, always swimming hard, and always trying to change the workout. Let's make a deal. Do we really have to finish? No, that really was 16, I swear. Through it all, she just kept dropping time, so much so she made the cut for the eight individual championships during the boys' season. With her time, she would have finished in the top 16 in the city during the girls' season. Our most improved swimmer goes to Allison Burns. I would like to recognize a senior that was on call for any event, from sprinting to long distance freestyle to any distance of breaststroke or backstroke. This woman always had a smile on her face and her attitude is infectious. Hard work and dedicated everything you'd want an athlete and a graduating seawolf. There have been many years of her family named here at Scholars and she is the last one. I know we are all better for them deciding to come to Scholars Academy. Our 2024 Coaches Award goes to Jenna Rodriguez. Picture time. Swimming, please step up for a picture. I would like to next invite up our boys varsity basketball team.
I'm not going to do an impression, I'm just going to read them. Coming off back-to-back -back New York City championships and being moved into a more competitive division, we were not sure how the pieces would fit. Our new gym floor added to the excitement as some of our returning seniors hadn't lost a regular season game in the three years of competing. Early on, we struggled to become a cohesive unit, but during the non-league game, one, one game tournament at South Shore High School, our guides broke through. That inspired us into winning eight straight games and finally being comfortable. We had our sights set on another playoff run as our seniors led the way with the addition of some special first year kids that gave us good energy and a chance to make a deep run. Absent were the expectations of playing into the final weekend of the season, but our guys found a way to get a great playoff seed, number seven, and another chance to play on our new hardwood floor in front of our home crowd. I'm happy we have a new hardwood floor, too. A late three-point shot had us advanced to the Elite Eight, and overall, we were proud of our team's accomplishments. We will miss all nine seniors who walk away with fond memories and new friendships that will last a lifetime. Most, so now we're going to go to the awards. Most Improved Player. <laughs> A bunch of kids were worthy of this award, but unfortunately, only one kid could be named MIP. This year, it goes to a young man who has worked extremely hard as a scholar athlete and has contributed to a lot of our overall success. He has demonstrated a willingness to improve and was always interested in fitting his skill set into our team's needs. He went through a rough part of the season a third of the way through, but his hard work and persistence, he found his stride. We were especially proud of his ability to work with the younger players on the squad, transferring our team philosophy and overall culture to our underclassmen. Please give it up for Daniel Brady. Award. Calm, kind, and collected, this young man developed into a terrific leader and was responsible for keeping us all together, especially, especially after we experienced some early losses in the season. Your hard work, positive attitude, and unwavering commitment to the team have not gone unnoticed to our coaches, players, and school community. Your passion for the game, your ability to lead by example, your positive attitude and sportsmanship, and how you have supported your teammates has been a pleasure to watch i will miss you teaching our guys the jump shot in the lane and the use of the two feet our coaches award this season goes to nelson Thomas. Assuming off the court, but fearless and one of those, but fearless and one of the most competitive kids I have ever coached. Every preseason since his sophomore year, he would challenge the previous season's best player in an effort to claim he was king of the court. He was patient, honoring his skills and putting in extra hours at the private gym. And during his junior season, record a 51 point performance against St. Edmunds. He's the team player who cares about winning and competing at the highest level. We will miss him on the court, but this great kid brought a sense of toughness to our program that has been defined by his tenure. This year's MVP goes to Chris Palisano. I would like to invite up 
uh, Ms. Borello, and our girls varsity basketball team. season is really late nights sometimes till eight o'clock at night we appreciate you guys for all the hard work and dedication you put into this miss tuberty miss smite everybody included even miss bean who popped in every once in a while to see how things were going um we definitely want to thank our parents that you are the support of our entire system here driving the girls back and forth to practices carpooling to games please clap it up for them they are the heart and soul of this basketball team Um, but undoubtedly, as, as of all sports teams, I want to thank the people, the girls standing up here with me today. They put their hearts and souls into this long hours, long months. The season goes from Mar uh, October until March. It's a long season. It is tiring hours, so please clap it up for them. They did a phenomenal job. Um, Oh, Saturday mornings too. It was, it was to so rough with bagels and everything else like that. Um, but seriously, it was it was a great season with all of them. Um, they put in the hours with myself and with Miss Morello. Um, it was a great season overall. I'm gonna give Miss Morello the mic here to introduce one of our awards. What's up, guys? Okay. What's up? All right, so we're gonna start, I think every other team started with this, hopefully, I don't know. Um, we're gonna do most improved first. Um, so in just one season, our most improved players game has soared to new heights. Going from a total of only 32 points last season, 32, double digits, um, to an impressive 123 points this season. So I'm a math teacher, how to do the percentage. That's a 285% increase. Can we just clap it up for that? Okay. <laughs> So, um, not only point increase, but rebound increase as well. We went from 85 rebounds to an astounding 117 rebounds. So that's a 138% increase in one season. But it's not just about numbers. So it's also about tireless effort and unwavering commitment that she brings to every single practice and every single game. As a sophomore, Tatiana's dedication serves as a big always the first one on the court and the last one to leave and you guys will know this she's literally always asking can we stay later can we practice on saturday can we practice on sunday she's always that one to ask those questions um every dribble every lap every shot is done with the utmost effort and her work ethic is contagious making her a role model for every single person on the court um congratulations tati on a well-deserved recognition and thank you for showing us all what true dedication looks like Our next award, this individual is being recognized because of her dedication, determination, and leadership, which has profoundly impacted our team over the past four years, truthfully. Her skill and talent is evident every time she steps on the court, but what truly sets her apart is her tireless commitment and worth ec, worth ec oh my God, I'm struggling. Every day, in and out. Chris is a true leader on and off the court. Who has inspired her teammates with relentless drive and high spirits. This is a size three font for anyone who cares. 
Kristen is, always has valuable input during games and practices and is supportive to our teammates when it matters most. You will be missed greatly. However, we wish you the best of luck in college. This year's Coaches Award goes to and is well deserved. Please give a round of applause yes, to Kristen Dixon. Dixon. All right, I'm back. So um, we're gonna do MVP. So our MVP this year showed an incredible display of skill and determination. Um, this person led our team not only with impressive stats, uh, 298 points and 194 rebounds, um, but also with her unwavering leadership on and off the court. So this person is not just a scorer and a rebounder. She's the embodiment of teamwork and the embodiment of sportsmanship. Um, her inclusive nature and kindness make her a beacon of light for everybody on the team, making sure everyone's included, even the little freshies uh, that are on the team over here. Um, so we want to thank you for your outstanding contributions and congratulations on an amazing season, not only in basketball, um, but in volleyball and softball as well. Um, as you guys just brought home a championship. And league MVP, I believe. Um, we're wishing you the best at Maritime Alexa. Congratulations on it. Okay, they're taking a picture right now, but while that is happening, I will invite up Miss Quintana and their stunt team to the podium, please. Thank you. our cheer family to come out and support our team this year. We are nothing without the support and trust from our family, so thank you for always being there for us. I would also like to thank both the boys and girls basketball teams for giving us such amazing seasons and giving us, to be a re uh, giving us a reason to be part of the action. We love coming to support you each year um, and at each home game. We can't wait for next year. Now I would like to thank the team as a whole. I firmly believe in the power of team sports and what it can do for our young adults, confidence, socialization skills, and life skills overall. Good teammates build you up and support you. They hug you when you need it, make you laugh, help with homework, and give you the facts of reality when it needs to be said. For all these awards, I always ask the students' opinions by voting anonymously, so it makes my life easier. But there is nothing, uh, more importantly though, um, I believe in student voice and I know how important it is to be recognized not only by adults and coaches, but your peers. That's the highest compliment you can get. Um, so first, our most improved, she's not here, but I'm still gonna read the blurb because she deserves it. Um, Cherish Jones. <laughs> this young woman um, is are most improved because of a variety of reasons. First, she tried out as a junior after not making the team the previous year. This determination is something I admire as a coach. She also helped revamp some of our cheers and brought some of our new ones to our team. For those who do not know Cherish, she travels from Brooklyn each day um, and she takes up to two hours to get to school. So that's extreme dedication. Comes to college. for 6.45 a.m. practices. When a new member joined us midway through the season, Cherish would FaceTime her at night and work um, on new cheers with her at lunch, and I want to make sure that, uh, that she knows that her efforts do not go unnoticed, 
and that she has made incredible improvement as not only a player, but a young person going out into this world. We are blessed to have someone like Cherish on our team, continue to show that determination, empathy, and authenticity. I'm looking forward to your senior year. Coaches Award. This next recipient lives to jump. Jumping is just her thing. I think if she could do it all the time, she would. More importantly, she loves to teach how to jump and the intricacies of counting and the precision of the moves. I think if Rebecca... <laughs> Rebecca is a ray of sunshine and energy and has all the energy no matter where she is, when she's coming in, or how long she's been up. At night studying for all her classes and everything else she does. Her peers have said the following about her. I always see Rebecca helping and critiquing us in such helpful ways. She always knows the right things to say to players to encourage them on and off the mat. She always gives group advice and critiques us in how to be better. This is why Rebecca is receiving this coach's award today because of her dedication to making the team better and engaged in every jump, cheer, and game. We wish her all the success in the world as she graduates and begins the next chapter in her life, and we know she'll be back to help us out. <laughs> MVP, Amena. Our MVP is someone who probably does not think she's getting this award. Her humble and genuine nature make Hamena our MVP. I have known this player since she was a freshman during our blended learning. How lovely that was. <laughs> As a sophomore, she tried out for cheer, and over time, her dedication to the sport has not only allowed her to perfect her jump technique and teach others how to do it, but also developed her into a strong leader and one of my trusted captains. Her peers say, Jimena is a very smart player, went on and off the mat. She embraces all errors and achievements and works to be better either way. She offers great advice and motivates her teammates to be better. She works with everyone for everyone. She is a great communicator with the team, the coach, and her fellow captains. This is why she is our MVP. We wish her all the best as she enters into college, and again, know she'll be helpful coming back to help out. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna take a, a two minute breather so you guys can talk at your tables and then we're gonna restart. <laughs>
Let's go. I know it's so challenging to bring it back, but we only have spring sports left. And yeah, and our big awards. But before we get to that, the PSAL does not just grant teams. We have been fighting for teams for a while. I'm glad, I'm glad we got boys volleyball, but we're still pushing for more. But they did start the all access program, which means that there are athletes in this room that played on other campuses' teams. So even though they were representing the other campus, they still always had the Seawolves in their heart, and we still want to acknowledge these players. So I'm going to start with the people that played football at Beach Channel Campus, thank you. So you can come up and get your certificate. Harris, Benjamin, Brian, Danny, and Thomas. Come on up. Thank you, Thomas. You can do that. Harris is here somewhere. And Ben and Danny, I didn't see. Okay, take a picture. All right, That's it. We're, stay up here. This is gonna be an all access picture. We're gonna call up lacrosse girls varsity. We have Natalia, Angelina, and Ariana. And boys soccer. If you play boys soccer, come on up. I didn't think anyone's here. Alright. I would be proud to be in the picture with you. Come on. Alright. Come on. Okay, I would like to invite up our golf team with Mr. Lieberman. All the members of the golf team, please come up with Mr. Lieberman. Thank you. Yeah. Coach Steve. Yeah. Coach Steve. Coach Steve. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Uh, golfers, let's go. Come on up. I know the three of you are here. Oh, there they are. Okay, great. Yes. All right, here we go. Golf. 
2024 golf team definitely had some good competition throughout this season. We had two individuals qualified for the city championships. Congrats to Quinn Breslin and Captain Charles Hilkendorf. Recognize our graduating seniors, Charles, uh, Miguel Pelosi, and Michael Ben. Our team consists of all level of players from beginners to advanced at each level. I feel all athletes had improved whether it was their swing, mental demand part of the game, or just the love of the sport. Now on to some awards. We keep this short. Uh, so this award goes to an athlete that is recorded with the lowest score of the season and had seven wins out of ten matches. This individual competed hard all year and consistent play, especially towards the end. He is going to continue to improve as he takes his talents to the East Coast golf capital, Myrtle Beach, where he will attend Coastal Carolina. Our 2024 golf MVP goes to Captain Michael Ben. All right, and for our final award here, we're gonna go to an athlete that possesses. Uh, okay, we'll go to, um, we'll shout out our most improved player. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. No, no, I didn't forget at all. Um, with four out of five wins and matches that he played, by far the loudest person in the course, I'm not sure if he even knows how to whisper. Our most improved player goes to um, William Gallagher. Who can't <laughs> Finally, finally, the last award goes to the athlete that possesses quiet leadership and calm presence through any adversity. His contributions to the team have been greatly appreciated from helping the, uh, with the lineup to getting messages out to the players. He completed all 10 matches, winning eight of them. The family name continues to live on at Scholars at least for a few more years. Congratulations to 2024 Coaches Award winner, Charles Hogan. for supporting us this year. We are one of those teams who have very late practices, um, so it's always fun. Um, next, I would really like to thank our stunt families. We don't have a season without you, driving us to games and getting them to the Bronx and Staten Island and wherever else we gotta go. Um, but you are our biggest cheerleaders, and I really appreciate everything that you do for us. Um, I can't do anything without you. I want to thank our 17 graduating seniors. 17's a lot. <laughs> um, this is only about half the team right now, honestly. These are like 40 deep. Um, as a ninth grade teacher, I get to see them throughout their four years, and I've become very close with this group. And you know, whether I've known them from middle school and millennium, some of them, go so way back, <laughs> or lovely blended learning again, always fun. It's just, I don't have kids of my own, but they are very close and near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, there's immense love for this group, and you guys are gonna be very much missed. You don't understand how much you're gonna be missed. Um, 
Collectively, this group is very unique. Um, they know how to unite and get the job done, while always being fierce advocates of each other. Always remember, once a sea wolf, always a sea wolf, and Miss Q will always have your back. A huge shout out, though, to my six senior captains, Emma, Jimena, Caitlin, Kim, Rebecca, and Sydney. They led by example, and they know the expectations I have of them and of this team. We could not pull out half of the stuff that we did without your leadership, commitment, and constant planning and messaging back and forth with Ms. Q about what we need to do for partner stunts and pyramids or jumps and tumbling. Who should we put here? So I am eternally grateful for all of you, and I'm going to miss you immensely. Lastly, I would like to thank our amazing managers this season, Dario Oluopalumi Faith and Ariel for helping us. <laughs> for helping us get taped up, recording our stunts, and bringing so much love and energy to each practice and game. They were there early morning and late nights and on many weekend games, so thank you for that. Um, there are many words and phrases I could use to describe this year's team, but I can sum it up in the following. We started this season losing a lot of key members from the previous senior class, and I was unsure of where this team would be. They surpassed my expectations with their discipline and determination to make it to the finals this season, or attempt to, we were two points shy. Next year, next year. <laughs> Anyways, while we fell two points short of achieving this goal, it only shows how close we are to bringing home a banner. I'm very proud of the bonds that they have made and the mentorship that has been developed between our lower and upperclassmen. We're hungry for more, and we know that an appearance in the finals will happen next year if we stay healthy and dedicated in the off season. <laughs> our most improved, our most improved is not here, but I do want to say what um, I wrote for him because, yeah. Um, Keon. <laughs> Like cheer, I make them vote. So this is coming directly from their peers. He overwhelmingly got the majority vote for this, which speaks to his character and discipline. His peers accurately expressed this, so here are some words. I think Keon deserves this award because he has shown vast improvement this season. When this season started off at our clinics, Keon wasn't able to get his back hamstring. Hamstring. <laughs> Instead of giving up, he persisted and made it his mission and learned to <laughs> and learn how to do it and perfect it. He ended up getting it and even ending a round off backhand hand spring, which for those of you not who don't know anything about this sport, it's extremely difficult to do. Okay? Very difficult. Overall, he had tremendous progress and the sky's the limit. He started last year as only being in jumps and tumbler, and now is an extremely core part of our many of our routines. It's a partner stunt, pyramid, and back. A lot of our routines, he gets all the new tumbling, and he's a vital member. Keon, I'm looking forward to seeing you lead next year as one of our captains and taking us all the way. Okay. Um, our coach's award. Our coach's award goes to Jordan. Or as I like to affectionately call her, Coach T. Jordan lives, eats, and breathes stunts. Her sophomore year, I heard she was an elite gymnast, so naturally I had to try and recruit her to no avail. Yet she took a chance on stunt her junior and senior year and embraced it and her competitive nature blossomed. Her drive and determination to win is something I admire as a coach because she does it the right way and her peers noted that. And they said, I look to her not just as a teammate, but also as someone I can look at look as a second coach because she's just always there and gives me good feedback to get better as a player. She's given me a lot of wonderful advice this season that has paid off because I'm improved. She's always there to cheer me up if I need it, and she has the elements of which a good coach possesses. Jordan is a core member to the team and is very commanding. She makes sure everyone stays on text, pass, and does what they need to do. We wouldn't function properly without her. My favorite, without her, Miss Q would lose her mind, facts. And she always contributes to the team, both as a player and a person. 
This is another player that we are sad to see, sad to see leave us, but excited to see what she does in the future. And of course, will come back and help us. <laughs> Congratulations. Joy. player um, let me begin by saying we don't have a season without this kid we literally would not have a season um, with stunt you need you can only have one male back in a routine and you have to have one female back and Sydney our captains and most experienced backs, but she's also an expert in jumps and tumbling. She stepped up as a leader when we needed her the most, as the only girl back who could execute many of our harder skills and routine. Here are some things that your peers have said about you. She's a wonderful back that is basically in every single routine. Apart from what she does on her own, she helps everyone else get better in general, which makes her extremely valuable. Sydney seems to never leave the mat, yet she still gives every routine her rest and never gives up. She gives it all for her team, and she is an excellent seal. Sydney is Sydney is the only female back in Partner Stunts and Pyramids who would literally we would sorry this is English I promise we would literally not be able to do anything without her. Not only that, she's an essential part of our jumps and tumbling routine. If she was absent for a game, there would be no chance of winning, which is a fact as well. I quite literally don't know what to do without her and her leadership next year and her fierce determination to always be on that. She's a coach's dream and you're going to be very much missed. <laughs> next up is JV Girls Soccer. All right, so for our season overview, I would like to start off by thanking our parents and our amazing team managers for giving up their time and dedication to our cause this season. Firstly, thank you to our parents who have donated their time to our cause and drove the girls all over Queens to get them to their away games and cheer them on at every game, whether it was at Fort Tilden or the multiple far-flung away venues all over Queens. Your support has been invaluable. I also need to thank our two team men, our three team managers, Leanne, Kyra, and Dario. They help the team immensely by working one-on-one -on -one with our goalkeeper, alerting me to injuries, giving their objective feedback on team performance, and giving their objective feedback on team performance. We as a team appreciate them very much. The season has been a difficult one as we have faced multiple injuries that have decimated our starting lineup for a chunk of the season. With that being said, other players have stepped up in their place and performed admirably given the circumstances and have shown real commitment to the cause. Girls who have very little or no experience with soccer were thrust into the action much sooner than they or I expected 
and played their hearts out, leaving nothing on the field. They managed to get us four wins this season, and I have watched this group of athletes develop as players and as people. It's an honor and a pleasure to be coaching them this season, and I'm grateful for their efforts. Our most improved player. This year's most improved award is being awarded to someone who has started the season off with relatively no soccer experience, but continued to elevate her performances with every game as the season wore on and really influenced the team with her no-nonsense tackling and aggressive ball-clearing plays. This player morphed into our goal kick taker and free kick taker from the defensive part of the field. Her can-do attitude was infectious to her defensive partners and helped elevate them on the field as well. It has been a pleasure watching her confidence and output grow with every game. Please congratulate the recipient of this year's JV Soccer's Most Improved Award, Julia Lazar. This year's MVP award goes to a player who led our team in points with five goals scored and one assist this season. This player's contribution goes farther than just stats though, because this player was a team leader and kept the midfield working to get the ball back and start counterattacks. Her passing helped dictate the pace of our play and her vision on the field was always a threat to the opposite team. A competitive midfielder who would put out a tremendous amount of energy on the field, she truly embodies what competitive soccer is all about. Please congratulate the recipient of this year's JV Soccer's MVP award, Alice Murphy. Okay, I almost lost the second part. So, for our coaches award, this year's coaches award goes to a player who is usually reserved and quiet, but lets her play speak volumes on the field. This player plays a, a position that is often said to be the loneliest on the field, being a goalkeeper. But this player on her own is the backbone that supports the team and sets a tone for how we play. Throughout the season, she compiled 71 saves and was a commanding presence, presence behind the defense. This player was always at practice, always following instructions, and always ready to train and play at 100%. This young lady put in a tremendous amount of work to be at the level where she's at, always has a positive attitude, and is a selfless team player. Please congratulate the recipient of this year's Coaches Award for Girls JV Soccer, Samantha Whalen. At this time, I would like to invite up our boys, Varsity Volleyball Team with Coach Nadeau. Scholars got a volleyball team this year for boys. The boys varsity volleyball team was a developmental program that just started this school year. The season started with 75 students trying out and only 15 athletes making the final cut. It was an honor to see many of these young men finally get a chance at becoming part of the Scholars Academy athletics program. Every single one of these athletes got a taste of what it feels like to no longer focus on the eye, but on the we. Bonds were created and friendships were formed. To say that I am proud of this team would be an understatement. I'm going to fast forward to most improved. The most improved player award is given in recognition of an athlete's talent and growth, as well as being a testament to the dedication and resilience they need to push their limits and exceed expectations. Patrick Larkin, your journey embodies that. The season was short, but your efforts continued off the court when helping with Millennium. You showed up to every practice, meeting, and game, whether home or away. Your commitment to improvement has not gone unnoticed. You transform potential into performance and weakness into strength. Congratulations to Patrick Larkin on not only on your achievements, but the spirit and growth that you represent. Out of 
Okay, so the boys MVP, he's not here today, but the Most Valuable Player Award is a celebration of excellence on the volleyball court mm -hmm. and off of it. The honoree should demonstrate unparalleled skill, dedication, and leadership throughout the season, inspiring teammates and spectators. His hard work and practice, determination during games and sportsmanship at all times have set a standard for others to follow. Ben Gressel, led by example, showing what it truly means to be a team player. But this award isn't just about individual achievement, it's a testament to the collective effort of the entire team. Behind every spike, every block, and every victory, there's a group of teammates who have supported and pushed each other to do their best. Uh, so here's to many more victories and accomplishments in the future. And to the Boys Varsity Volleyball Coaches Award. It is with great pleasure and honor that I stand before you tonight to represent the Coaches Award for the Boys Varsity Volleyball team. This award recognizes not just skill and talent on the court, but also dedication, leadership, and sportsmanship off the court. Delson Samuel. to the team, not only the boys team, the girls team, always pushing themselves and their teammates to strive for excellence. Delson leads by example, showing grit, determination, and a positive attitude in every practice and game. His passion for the sport is infectious, and his support for the, his teammates is unwavering. It is my privilege to announce Delson Samuels as their associate Please give another round of applause for the new boys volleyball basketball uh, team. At this time, I would like to invite up our boys varsity baseball team. with Scholars Academy Varsity Baseball. I bring that up for a specific reason. There are five players on this team that have been a part of this team longer than I have. These five young men have been the backbone of our team for the past two years. It's no secret that our team moved into the AAA division and it has been quite the learning curve. This season, although there are no higher divisions, we moved into a conference where the top two, uh, top two teams were playing at Yankee Stadium Monday. I'm not asking for sympathy, but I am here to compliment our team. From our seniors to our freshmen, you showed up each day ready to work. For, focus on what we say one half inning at a time. Your ability to focus on small victories allowed us to stay focused in a long season. Our record was one and eight at spring break. Our final record was five and nine. That means the last two weeks of the season, we went four and one, securing a playoff spot and improving our seating from last year. testament to our seniors' leadership and our young players' talents. I want to give a special thanks to our parents. Uh, we traveled all over the city. I think we hit every borough this uh, season. Manhattan, the Bronx. No, I don't think we played in the Bronx, but pretty much everywhere. Um, 
And a special thanks to Coach Till, where I, I don't know where you're sitting right now, but thank you so much. I could always count on you. You give me advice. You were there for me anytime I needed. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you very much. So that gets me to our awards. I'm gonna start with the most improved. This season's most improved player was a freshman on the team. Anyone who's jumped from middle school to high school level baseball knows it's a lot. I still remember my first at bat. It can be easy to get discouraged if you make an early mistake or two. This player's attitude was exactly what you hoped for as a coach. He listened to advice, welcomed criticism, and understood where he can improve. He showed up each day ready to work with a positive attitude and willingness to learn. His value was both offensively and defensively, although his major impact was defensively. His right field play went from just securing the catch to diving and making a over-the-shoulder catch that pretty much changed the season in a playoff-level regular season game. So unfortunately, he is not with us today, but today I would like to congratulate Thomas Kelly for most of his The second award I am going to give tonight is Most Valuable Player. This season's Most Valuable Player was an extremely difficult decision to make. Each member of our team plays such a major role. Um, this scholar's athlete is well respected by both his peers and his coaches. He brought an intensity to each practice and game that was impressive. At the end of the season, this athlete played almost every position on the field for us. I knew no matter who was available in our situation, I could trust them to fill the role. This player ended uh, his senior year with a 471 batting average, which was second in our conference, but .001 lower than the number one hitter in our conference. So it was a very, very close, close discrepancy. He had 39 strikeouts on the mound. He pitched 31 innings for us. He started five games and he had one complete game and one shutout. Anytime this player stepped on the mound, it gave our team extra confidence. This year's most valuable player goes to James Youssef. Our, our third award is the Coach's Award. This season's Coach's Award goes to a player who has been one of the strongest assets these past two years. He has helped me on and off the field. His knowledge of baseball is immense. His love for baseball is obvious. He is able to be reflective both individually and as a team. I can ask him to run a drill or work with younger players anytime I need. As long as it doesn't include a fungo bat, it's some, for some reason it hurts his hands. Um, this player strives to be better each day He's a leader by example, and one of the nicest kids I've met. When you see him on the field, it's obvious that he's putting countless hours of work. I cannot wait to see his career in college. And with that said, the coach's award goes to Christian. You guys are gonna take a picture now? And as they're taking the picture, I'd like to welcome up the champions. All right. Hi, everybody. 
everybody. Um, I would like to start by thanking a few people that are crucial to the success of the softball program. Steve. spends countless hours with us at practices and games. Thank you for pro providing so much support by helping run practices and giving pep talks to the team throughout the games. Matt. Thank you for all of the time you spend preparing the field and supporting our softball program. You have such a big part and put so much effort and energy into the happiness of our team and ensuring our season runs smoothly. Parents, thank you for your commitment to the team, traveling the distance to make it to games, and being such supportive fans. We could not have been as successful without all of you. All right, so now this team. There is so much to say about this team. They have worked so hard to be the best, and they succeeded by becoming the best softball team in the city when they won the 3A Division Softball Championship this past Sunday. We started this program 15 years ago as a club team, which soon turned into an official PSAL team. We have won championships before, but never one of this magnitude. This season, we were matched up against the largest and best schools across all five boroughs. We were ranked number two in the playoff bracket and defeated every team that we were matched up against one by one. Our semifinal game against Curtis High School was a grueling nine inning game. Alexa battled on the mound all nine innings. And the team worked together to defeat Curtis by stringing together a few hits in the bottom of the ninth to end the battle with a score of four to three. This Sunday was the culmination of the season when we had a championship game rematch against the Tottenville Pirates. The game was scoreless going into the top of the seventh, which is when the team once again worked together to string together a few base hits to score two runs. Then the defense shut down Tottenville's offense with three ground outs, ending in a sweet victory of 2 0. We can now say we are Triple A division champions. support of friends and family throughout the season and at the championship game. It was great to have so many people there to share in the excitement of winning the New York City Softball Championship in the top division. This team is made up of a bunch of rock stars, so choosing three awards is not an easy task, as there are many deserving members of this team. While not everyone can receive an award tonight, they each stood out in different ways throughout the season. A special thank you to our seven seniors, that have contributed so much to this team over the past four years. You have worked really hard to become champions, and that is the title you can always hold on to. For choosing these three specific awards, we had to focus on the meaning of each award and statistics in order to make these difficult decisions and select three members that fit. So for our most improved award, a most improved player should do exactly that and show the most growth from one season to the next. After harping over the statistics of the various members of this team, I selected someone who increased their batting average and on base percentage by over 200 points from last year to this year. She has been dependable at the plate and on the field every year. But this year definitely came through in some clutch situations. Two of these times were in the championship game when she started off the seventh inning rally with a base hit and was the winning run. She then followed it up with making the game-ending play on a ground ball to her at third base. The moment the ball was hit, we knew the game was over because of our confidence in her fielding. Please help me in celebrating our 2024 Most Improved Softball Player, our senior third baseman that we will miss dearly, Charlotte Tice. When I think of someone deserving of the Coach's Award, I think of someone that is always looking to better themselves and the team. 
someone that is dedicated to the team's success and will do whatever it takes to support the team in any situation. This member of the team is able to put a smile on people's faces with ease. She is someone her teammates look to for a laugh or a shoulder to lean on. She is a leader, both on and off the field, and has gained the respect of her peers, teammates, and coaches. We appreciate the hard work and dedication she has shown to this team for the past four years and wish her nothing but the best as she moves on to college. You will be missed next year. Congratulations, Charlotte Boyle. MVP. I always base the Most Valuable Player Award on statistics. This student athlete was a 2024 team and PSAL leader in both on-base percentage and batting average. This season, she also led the team in runs scored and home runs. As a pitcher, she threw 118 strikeouts this season with a high school career of 279 strikeouts. As impressive as her statistics are, this student athlete is more than just stats. She's a leader to her teammates and peers on and off the field. She is the best interest of the team at the forefront of her mind every second she is on the softball field. When in a tough situation, she digs deeper and plays stronger. During the playoffs, her intensity grows and she is a force to be reckoned with. In the semifinal game this year, she pitched all nine innings and seemed to be getting stronger as she went. She is a competitor through and through. Because of all these reasons and many more, she was also selected as a 2024 PSAL Softball Wingate recipient, as well as this year's softball team MVP. Please help me in congratulating Alexa Nolan. So now we're going to move on to our final awards of the evening. We're going to start with our volunteer of the year. And I'd like to invite Coach Nadoa to present that award. Me again. It is with great honor and immense gratitude that I stand before you today to recognize the outstanding contributions of our Volunteer of the Year. In a world where time is a precious commodity, the selflessness and dedication of volunteers are truly remarkable. This year's recipient has exemplified the spirit of service in every sense. Her commitment to our community has been unwavering, her efforts tireless, and her impact immeasurable. Whether it's lending a helping hand at after-school events, spearheading student initiatives, or simply being a beacon of positivity, she has consistently gone above and beyond. What truly sets our Volunteer of the Year apart is not just the hours she's dedicated, but the heart she's poured into every task, big or small. Her passion for making a difference has inspired others to join in the cause, amplifying the reach and impact of her work. Today, as we honor our Volunteer of the Year, let us not only celebrate her achievements, but also reflect on the power of community and the ripple effect of kindness. Her shining example reminds us that each of us has the capacity to create positive change and that together we can build a brighter future for all. So please join me in extending our heartfelt congratulations to Ms. Tracy B.
going to move on to coach of the year so for our athletes that are presenting that award please come up thank you proud of you for receiving this award that has been long overdue. Since taking on the role as a cheer and stunt coach, you have worked endlessly to continue to develop this program into what it has become today. What makes you such a special coach is your devotion to guide us into becoming not only better athletes, but overall better individuals. By always managing to see the potential in everyone who comes to you and pushing us to become the strongest version of ourselves, you have allowed us all to discover and embrace our self-confidence and are always encouraging us to be proud of ourselves. Even during the times where as a team we were feeling discouraged and defeated, you have never failed to believe in us. This team is so incredibly lucky to have you as our biggest cheerleader. None of the team's accomplishments would have been possible without you. One of your most admirable traits as a coach is the way you collaborate with the team while showing us tough love. When our spirits are down, you come up with fun ways to cheer us up while maintaining productivity. Breeze tag and ships and sailors let us warm up our bodies instead of running laps, and showcases of skills and routines at the end of practice while we cheer each other on are part of what makes this team a family. You've also taught us to own up to our mistakes, even if it means running extra laps or conditioning. Though I won't be running laps when I make a mistake in college, you've taught me a lot about accountability on and off the mat Managing a team of 23 athletes two years ago was certainly a challenge, let alone this year's roster of almost 40, but you handled it with grace and ensured that all of our voices were heard. It has been an honor to be one of the six captains on this team because you made every practice, game, and performance so much more special. I can't think of a coach more deserving of this award. Each and every day you work so hard and are so dedicated to helping us be the best team we can possibly be. You're always about what's best for the team. Even outside the sport, you guide us and give us a space where we are comfortable enough to share our feelings. You make everyone feel so welcome and we wouldn't have made it as far as we did without you. You've made this season and last season so memorable, not just for me, but for the whole team because of the connections you've built with each and every person. I've learned so much from you that I will take into the next stages of my life. So, Ms. Quintana, congratulations on this award. student awards. Before we do that, we do give out scholar athlete certificates every year. We have 117 of them to give out, so that will be done in homeroom folders. So if you have that GPA, it's going to be in your homeroom folders for you to take home. So now we're going to call up Mr. Ragavir to give out the male athlete of the year. Good afternoon again. Good afternoon. 
So this is one of those really special awards, all right? Um, I'll start off by saying this male athlete of the year was an integral part of that team that won two championships back-to-back -back years, city championships. To win a championship, you must have the right attitude, be hardworking, and have some talent. Daniel Brady. I'm not even smiling. You don't even know when he's serious or not. I don't know if you're, are you upset? <laughs> so let's see your smile, come on. All right, so Daniel Brady is extremely coachable and always competes to win. In his senior year, he averaged 10 points a game, six rebounds and two assists. According to his coach, Tao, he was a true warrior, he has a true warrior mentality when the game is on the line. Coach Tao went on to say that he is strong, silent type who provided the strength to the team when they needed it most. During the cross country season, he improved this time by over two minutes. He holds the seventh fastest 5K time at Van Cortland Park in Scott's Academy history. And he was also rewarded a gold medal, sorry, not a gold medal, a medal, for a top 20 finish at the city championships at Van Cortland Park. That's really good. We have had the pleasure of knowing this scholar athlete for seven years and have watched him develop into the young man he is today. We are very proud of him, and he will do great things at NYU. Congratulations, Daniel Brady. This year's Female Athlete of the Year is a three-sport athlete. She has demonstrated excellence, determination, and drive in every sport or challenge she takes on, as well as in the classroom. In volleyball, she is a leader on the court as a setter and right side hitter. She is a power, powerhouse demonstrated by her leading score in aces and kills per match. In basketball, she is known for her aggressiveness on the court and her high amount of offensive and defensive rebounds per game. She is an asset in basketball and volleyball. However, nothing matches her performance on the softball field. Her passion for softball shines through every time she steps on the field or it comes up in conversation. Her immediate comfort when she steps on the field is evident every day. The field is where she belongs. Offensively, she is a force to be reckoned with. This season, she carried a 7-11 batting average, 7.44 on base percentage, scored 22 runs, 39 RBIs, and three home runs. She has come through in clutch situations all season long, including batting in the winning run in our recent championship game. Defensively, she is a brick wall behind the plate. It is not too often that a ball gets away from her or that someone attempts to steal off of her. She is well known and respected across the PSAL Softball League by coaches and opponents. Aside from her impressive abilities on the field, she is a team player through and through. Knowing that she is graduating this year and leaving big shoes to fill in catcher's position, she took it upon herself to begin training another teammate to take her place next year. She consistently provides feedback and suggestions to her teammates in a respectful manner. She is looked up to as a leader by her teammates, so they take her advice every time it is offered. This athlete is moving on to play softball at the collegiate level 
at Pace University. They are beyond my They are beyond lucky to have her join and improve their program. Please help me in congratulating the well-deserving 2024 Female Athlete of the Year, Lauren DeRozzi. to welcome Principal Smythe to give out the Carrie Naples Award. Good evening. This is an emotional one. This is a very special award. Carrie Hubbard Naples worked at Scholars Academy from 2007 through 2015 as a mathematics teacher, testing coordinator, and high school events coordinator, and PSAL volleyball coach. She passed away on November 11, 2021, after a long battle with cancer. Mrs. Naples has left her legacy here at Scholars Academy and is greatly missed by alumni, colleagues, and families. The Carrie Hubbard Naples Athlete of the Year Award is a very special one that is presented to one high school athlete per year who emulates all of the amazing attributes that Carrie embodied. This award and the set of criteria was created by former athletes who had the pleasure of having her as a coach, alumni, faculty, and Carrie's family. As a coach, Carrie showed compassion, patience, and so much care for the sport. She never gave up teaching new techniques and preparation. She always guided the team with enthusiasm, and she had the ability to give everyone their own spotlight. Carrie was a coach who taught about and modeled what teamwork, leadership, and love really is. Carrie taught her athletes about commitment to the team and to the game. She taught about the importance of staying positive always, even in defeat. Carrie prioritized trying to improve and always being there to help one another. Encouraging and motivating one another were also big on her list of objectives. Carrie was incredibly uplifting to be around. She was always able to put a smile on your face. She was someone anyone could talk to and count on, on and off the court. Carrie was kind to her fellow teammates, to the students she coached, and even to the students she didn't coach. Carrie had determination. When Carrie set out to do something, she did it, and she never let herself or her team quit or give up because something was hard. Carrie knew when to let loose, too. She would know when the team needed a break from all the hard work. She was known for her cheesy, corny, funny jokes and her giant smile. Lastly, and most importantly, Carrie was a friend to every teammate, to every student, to every colleague. That's the word that sums up everything Carrie was. All the adjectives describing what a friend is, Carrie was. She was a friend to all. The criteria for the Carrie Hubbard Naples Award is, includes compassionate, kind, patient, positive, determined, encouraging, motivating, uplifting, role model, supportive, dependable, lighthearted, honest, and above all, the person who receives this special award must be a friend to all. And the person who is receiving this award tonight, as you can tell, is very carefully selected. I couldn't think of a better person than Angelina Lobianco. Congratulations to all our winners. I'd like to invite our coach, our volunteer, everyone of the year up front for a picture. 
Sports Awards dinner that we've ever had before. Yep. So now you guys get to enjoy it for a little bit. Have fun with your friends, talk with your families, take tons of pictures. Thank you. 